This is Jackie from Otherwise, and today we're making a holiday charcuterie board. So let's go over the items that I already have that I can choose from to use. I bought this three pack of meat. It has pepper salami, hot calabrese, and hot capicolo. I didn't know it was all hot, but anyway, that's what we've got. For my sauces, I have some seedy mustard, roasted pepper and artichoke bruschetta, and also an asparagus asiago bruschetta. Some carrots, pecan, some homemade fudge. I've got a couple boxes of crackers, some bagel chips. For my cheeses, I have brie and borson. These are some of my favorites, so that's what I've chosen. For fruits, I have an orange and a cluster of green grapes. So let's get started. So now we want to make, I want to make a star, a Christmas star. And so I've got this container in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cranberry sauce, which is nice and red. Which is, this is, I made this for Thanksgiving. If you want the recipe, let me know in the comments. And we're going to take our brie and make a little star all the way around. If you have some that are bigger than others, put them on the top and the bottom and the two sides and put the smaller pieces in between. I'm going to slice my orange nice and thick. And these are in little triangles, so I can make some stars out of these. Maybe make your sections a little bigger. Like with two. Two of the sections together. So, add some clusters. Of grapes just a small cluster so that your guests are not having to pick up individual grapes I've got some baby carrots put them over here in this other corner so I've got my carrots, and I'm just going to make a little star out of my carrots. And I'll put a long grape right in the middle. Next, we'll make our charcuterie, which is cured meats. And I'm going to wrap, wrap them up together. Just wrap one right around the next one. We're going to make a little rose. So there's our little rose, and I want to place it somewhere where it will kind of hold together. If we put a toothpick in it, then one person will get the whole rose. So what we'll do, actually, 
is an easier way is just lay them out and then fold them up in half. So I have 12 pieces here, so I'm going to take half, and we'll make some more roses. Lay it down, and fold it in half. And then wrap it around. And then put your other ingredients right up against it to sort of hold it in place. If you need to. Let it lay down. And then we're going to fold it in half. Mash it down at the crease. Then roll it up from the end. Next, we'll make a little ribbon with our larger pieces here. This is Capicolo. So fold it in half and in half again. And then make them go the opposite direction. Pinch them together at the bottom. So they'll loop together. Add some bagel chips here. I'm going to add some mustard. And I've decided to go with some artichoke hearts. You need a little pickle of sorts. So I'm going to go with these. I'll add some more crackers. I'm going to split apart my ribbons and place them right in the corners here of the, of the star. I'm 
And so just keep filling in. If there's more space, just fill it in. Get some nuts. And so there we have our Christmas star charcuterie board. Let me know in the comments what you think about our Christmas charcuterie board. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is Jackie from Otherwise. And remember, dinner's at six.